Hello everyone, it's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. What a lovely reading the What's Cracking reading was this morning. I, uh, I've been getting that a lot lately where you get those sort of, you know, as I always call them epiphany moments, but those sort of moments that somebody says something or does something and you finally, it's like it just clicks into place. And, you know, there are times in your life where you go through struggles, you know, um, and this, you know, the past 12 months has been really um, quite challenging for me. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of self-work, a lot of digging deep, a lot of working with childhood stuff, um, relationships, the way I form relationships, friendships. I have done a lot of, a lot of clearing out, a lot of, um, a lot of listening to the universe on my path. But the one thing I do do is every now and again, I hear something whether that's sort of, you know, in passing someone, somebody commenting, um, something where you sort of go, ah, that now I get it. And um, I call those my epiphany moments. I don't know what, the revolutions. Um, but this sort of feeling that, you know, you've known this all along, you've been told this all along, and you really haven't known or you really haven't accepted what that means for you. And... Um, the energy of the What's Cracking reading was very much around finally getting it, finally understanding. And I think a lot of us have waited for those moments, you know, where we need to get more clarity in our lives. And we sometimes, you know, we sort of plod along and we do as we, we need to do. And there's been a lot of um, readings lately that have sort of talked about, you know, cycles needing to be closed out and, um, and energies needing to be released. And sometimes, you know, it takes a little while for us to understand that we actually have those cycles and patterns that we need to release. So it's been a very, very big journey this last 12 months, not just for me. I know that it's a lot of people in the collective I read for those people and I know that it's for a lot of people. So be kind to yourself. Um, it is about loving yourself, but it's also about being kind to yourself not beating yourself up when you get things wrong okay we're using the gilded tarot here for your reading and i have the five of pentacles now it's really funny because the five of pentacles is a card that talks about being left out in the cold um it is a card of sort of this sort of depressed feeling of missing out or not having something around you or not having something in your life there's a feeling here that you feel some sort of emptiness within um, and it can be because you've walked away from something, a relationship has gone wrong or, you know, someone has not uh, fulfilled a promise or broken a contract. That sort of energy of, you know, you feeling that you are sort of a little bit lost without that idea now. Um, oh, wow. Five of Cups. OK, so we had this in the What's Cracking reading. Um, the Five of Cups is sort of a... <laughs> It's not a dissimilar energy in any way. They're both fives. They both talk about some sort of changes here that need to happen. Um, this five of cups is sort of this looking back at the past with regret and remorse and not seeing what's in front of you. And this sort of, I always talk about that whole, you know, living in the moment, don't be, you know, immersed in your past with regret. But unfortunately, we're human beings and we tend to look back at the past and feel, you know, sad about things that haven't come to fruition or sad about things we've had to walk away from. But at the end of the day, there's always this beautiful energy in your future and you've just got to focus on that. Seven of Wands. <laughs> this card has been in every reading for weeks now um and the seven of wands you know it, it is a good card it's about standing your ground it's defending your energy defending it yourself against other people but i really see this card and especially this is why they've asked me to use this deck you see the door that's open behind him now i feel like it's almost like he has an opportunity to escape from this seven of swords energy but he can, chooses to keep fighting um, and that always makes me feel like you're fighting against what the universe is offering. So the universe is saying this door is open to you. You can go through it, but you don't. You just sort of you don't see it. It's like the five of cups energy where you're sort of not seeing the two cups in front of you. You're not seeing this opportunity to move forward. You're too busy fighting against what you think you need or fighting against 
you know, what is there for you in practicality without actually seeing the potential. So the door is opening for potential. Okay, two of pentacles came out in the What's Cracking reading. So this energy is very strong this morning. This is about bringing in balance, making a choice, deciding to do something different. Um, we do see in the background the waters are quite calm in this particular deck. In some of the decks, the two of pentacles have very like rising waters. Waters represent the emotion. In this one, the emotion's quite calm. So he is sort of achieving some sense of balance here. He's also making a choice to move towards this energy here, this much brighter energy rather than sort of leave, sitting back with this one. For some of you, um, there is a need for you to understand how to, you know, speak up for yourself. Uh, you know, understand that you've learned your lessons now. You're walking through this door here. So you're taking all the lessons that you've learned with you and leaving behind things that no longer serve you. So you may be leaving behind energies here that really don't do you any justice. You know, uh, maybe old patterns or ways of doing things. But you're taking with you the learnings and going through that door again. So it's definitely a forward movement. And here it is. Look, Ace of Pentacles, total stability, having everything you want, but moving towards that now rather than sitting uh, immersed in a past energy that is making you unhappy. Wow. OK, I've got to say to you, you're getting a bit of clarification, a bit of clarification around you. What's cracking reading? Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. Now, that was the last card I saw in the What's Cracking reading. So the Queen of Cups can represent Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. So you could be one of those signs. It's a general reading. But the energy of this particular person, she's very, very in tune with who she is. She's got a heart that's very open. She feels her emotions quite outwardly as well. So she's not afraid to express herself. She has very, very good intuition and she's very deep. So she often represents a mother figure or the nurturing ability that you have within yourself. Um, but this person has got some sort of offering here for you. She's standing there trying to get you to take something here, which is quite interesting. Let's see how this reading goes. Okay. All right, so we have a Page of Swords coming through here. So the Page of Swords is a messenger. The sword represents clarity, um, insight. Uh, it's precision. It's sort of the, the sort of offer of good things to come with clarity and understanding. This person can always be a stalker too. You could have somebody watching you, perhaps a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio here watching your journey. Um, there's no denying that energy as well. The Ten of Pentacles came out in the What's Cracking reading. You're moving towards your own abundance here. I think you've got clarity. I think you're understanding. I think you're manifesting. For some of you here, you're manifesting new work, new job, new creative project. Um... And I feel that something is being offered to you here in regards to the truth. So maybe it is, you know, possibly me coming forward as the messenger and saying to you, this is the truth now. You need to sort of realise that the past doesn't serve you. Move on. Um, and that may not be because of a personal situation. It may just be that you are regretful about your past or feel that you want to relive your past rather than experience a new future. That can make some of us feel very comfortable as well. Um, sometimes it's, you know, hard to sort of heal, heal your past. Um, this is a slow process. It's been a slow process up until now because you've had lots of inner work to do. But I'm looking at this and thinking you wouldn't be the energy of this beautiful Queen of Cups if you hadn't have done the work you needed to do. But it's like you're starting out on a brand new journey here. The Page of Swords is like the fool for me here. It's like you're finally having clarity and understanding how to manifest your fortune here. Three of Wands. Waiting for your ships to come in. They're looking forward, see? Turning your back on the past now. 
We have been waiting for this cycle to close down for such a long time. There's a beautiful eight of wands coming through. So communication, things happening very quickly. You've got the emperor coming in here. So we're getting a lot of repeat cards from the What's Cracking reading. The moon is here. Very strong Cancer, Pisces, Aries energy here. Relationship, long-term stability and the Four of Swords coming through as well. So I'll have to clarify that's a funny card to get there. Um, there is something you're creating here by letting go of something. There's a definite feeling that you're letting go of some sort of energy here that stopped you from being able to create the life you want. Um, sorry, just taking in messages. I feel that somehow or another you are manifesting a, a figure to come into your life. Um, there's no sort of energy that it's someone you know. This looks to me like a very new energy, but it's someone who's got their life together here, someone who's really, um, really well, very learned, well-educated, knowledgeable. Um, and I feel, again, like they've been waiting for you to get to a point of being able to release your this past energy. Again, feeling like you've been blocking abundance here by holding on to this past energy. Oh, there's so much more coming. There's so much more hidden here. This is an energy of like, look out, here it comes. Okay, so we have you feeling maybe in the past, maybe because of your past experience, very let down, very unhappy, very remorseful about your past. You could have broken up from a... A situation relationship walked away from something but you're definitely cleaning your closet here i feel like the universe is saying to you you know take the door stop fighting against what is being offered to you in the future you know you can't stand there and keep fighting against this energy you know fighting for this energy you need to let it go now the sadness of the past is gone it's time to move on trying to bring balance into your life take those lessons and move forward take the door away and look what's waiting for you, a brand new start. And I feel like for some of you, this is an opportunity for a new job, a new role. Because um, there's new money here. So there's money coming from like a different source or something. Um, but I also feel for some of you, this emperor may be representing someone that's giving you an opportunity. It may not necessarily be about love. There isn't a lot of cups in this reading, although we do have the Queen of Cups offering a cup there. So you could have an offer coming in from a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but I because it's very strong. We've got the moon here as well. Um, but I really feel like here for many of you, this is just general opportunities, you know, opportunities for stability, opportunities to make changes in your life. The universe is asking you to take time out here to accept that you're moving forward with these changes. So I want to say to you, there is a strong feeling here that for some of you, you are, are still in this transition phase. You haven't quite moved on to the next phase. Um, but I want to put a couple of cards across the... Okay, so Page of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, I feel like for a lot of you, this is about new opportunities coming in. Um, you may have recently become single or may have chosen to become single, but it, this guy, look at this huge pentacle that he has to offer you. So I feel like this is your opportunities coming to you here. This may not just be about a job. I feel like this pentacle could be about stable relationships, new friendships, um, I feel like you're clearing a lot of stuff out of your life and this energy you're bringing forth with this Nine of Pentacles is absolutely beautiful. It's like you feel whole and complete where you are now rather than feeling sort of regretful or unhappy about your past. Okay, Spirit, give us a little bit of an oracle message to go with that. Oh, and straight out, and we've got, <laughs> oh, very nice. We have the card of the Rainbow Prince, which is about compensation and perseverance. Card 26. When the Rainbow Prince appears as your ally, he reminds you about the law of compensation and the law of receiving. 
After the rainstorm you've endured on your journey, the Rainbow Prince brings you a pot of gold, which is the result of you using all of the elements of your inner light and reaching to the sky until you touch the material realm from one end to the other. This isn't always an easy process and hard work must be rewarded by compensation. When you align yourself with the energy of giving the highest value, your compensation is inherent in the act itself. But the message here is more than that. The Rainbow Prince says to keep your sights on the sky after rainstorms that may have upset your life. Follow your bliss to the point of gold waiting for you. Perseverance pays off and your reward will be greater than you can imagine. And I'm figuring that's what they, they're talking about with this huge pentacle. It's like it's got everything in it. It's got, you know, new work, new relationships, new opportunities, everything coming here. So just let go and just allow your spirit to soar. Have a wonderful day.